All right, we'll take questions for Avalanche forward JT Comfer, Peter Baugh, The Athletic. Hey, JT. Um, I know we're probably not the people you most want to talk about this with, but I, it was obviously a weird day with, with Tyson getting traded. What was your reaction to the news, and then how do you kind of compartmentalize and move past that for the game? Yeah, I mean, uh, no secret that me and Josie are pretty close, and I think a lot of guys on the team felt the same way. You know, he's a great guy to have in the locker room, and we wish him nothing but the best. And, uh, yeah, you just move forward. It's uh, part of the job and, um, you know, great, great teammate, and I uh, wish him nothing but the best. Any other questions for JT? Go ahead, Peter. You guys did a, a pretty good job limiting shots tonight. What was, was working for you defensively? Um, I thought we were getting uh, in and out of our zone pretty well and good defensive coverage. Uh, we probably got to clean up a few turnovers early in the game, but once we, you know, got the puck in behind their D, we were able to play it in the ozone most of the night. Eric Dean, Mile High Sports. What were your thoughts on Josh Manson's debut tonight? I thought he was really good. Um, physical, to move the puck, good scooter. I mean, I thought he jumped right in really well tonight. Um, seems like a good dude, and, you know, we're, we're happy to, to have him. All right, thank you, JT. Um, you know, I think that we can be, and that's the goal is to be as good defensively as we are offensively. Um, when we have nights where Kemp's or Frankie play really well, uh, it helps, but we just got to continue to work on our defensive game and be consistent with it come playoff time that's gonna matter yeah thanks guys all right we'll take questions for avalanche goaltender darcy kemper peter baugh the athletic hey darcy i uh i know you and josh manson are both from saskatchewan i'm i'm wondering when you first met him and just what your feelings are of having him on the team um, I think I actually first met him probably about five years ago. We, um, we started training together in the summer and, uh, got along instantly. So it's awesome to have, uh, uh, a familiar face here, um, on top of, you know, a big physical defenseman, you know, that's going to be really nice to have. Eric Dean, Mile High Sports. How exciting is it to see all the trades that are happening here? And how do you balance that with the human factor of losing a, you know, so far one guy from the locker room, potentially more? Uh, yeah, I think we're all all sad to um, to see Josie go for sure. Um, never easy. Uh, you know, you've been going to battle uh, with a guy for the whole season. A lot of guys for multiple years with him. So uh, he was uh, definitely a favorite in the locker room. Um, it's, uh, you know, on the other side of that, it, it's exciting to see, uh, you know, management putting a lot of trust in the, the room and, and trying to add pieces and uh, help us down the stretch here. I'll jump in this one. All right. Uh, Thanks. The game on Sunday was really bad. Your, your shot volume was really picked up. This, at that, the guys were really making. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah, I thought we just really committed to um, just staying above them. Uh, I, I think we didn't really give them anything off the rush. And then once we got into the zone, we were uh, we were closing quick, taking away their time and space. And uh, when they were getting shots, they were uh, to the outside, and I was able to to see them. And uh, the guys did an amazing job in front of me tonight. You ever think back at any level? Yeah, a couple times I have. Yeah. Okay. Try going back to Kate. Go ahead. Okay. How did it feel to see that goal called back for offsides? And, and oh. uh, yeah, it's it was nice to have that uh, call go our way. Um, you never really know. Uh, I, I never got to see a replay, so I wasn't sure which way it was going to go. But um, yeah, I'll count my blessings on that one. And last one here, Peter Baugh, The Athletic. I was curious, do you ever have a sense of if a play is offsides or is it just completely like, like can you see that at all? Uh, yeah, it depends on the play. Uh, a lot of times I can. Uh, I actually never saw this one. I think it was probably the guy on the weak side that was offside. So uh, when they're away from the puck, yeah, um, you know, I, I can't really tell. Um, sometimes if they're closer to the puck, you can tell right away. 
All right, thank you, Darcy. Okay. Thank you. Go ahead, Kyle. Okay. Just your thoughts on uh, Pepper and uh, on the long Looks great. <laughs> he looks great. Um, yeah, I mean, it's three games in a row. The only one to get by him is, you know, a, a lucky bounce off our own player. And um, we've given up some quality scoring chances. You know, teams are going to we, – we've defended well, but teams are going to earn quality scoring chances, and they've done that against us. And um, Kemp says, I mean, he looks great. He looks – he looks big in the net. He's staying upright. Um, looks quick down low. He's getting side to side on some on some real good plays and rebound plays where he's getting over there. It looks confident. And, um, you know, it's a positive sign. I mean, it's probably the best stretch that he's played all year. And, and we've kind of felt like he's been trending in an upward direction for quite some time. I think his numbers show that. Uh, teams gaining confidence in front of them. So it's we've, we've been pushing our team to, to really pay attention to the defending details and and uh, dig in on the defensive side of things. And um, it helps when when you get a goalie playing the way you are. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's going to make it hard on you. Like he when they have the puck and, and he goes to challenge you, he gets there quick, he closes quick and he's going to play right through you. And, you know, I don't know how – I'd have to look at it or study it, but a lot of those hits are in the D zone. You know, someone trying to play offense and get there and close it down. He's big and strong. Um, but impressive for me on the breakouts too. Like he found the middle of the ice multiple times instead of jamming up the boards in traffic. If he needed to go up and out with it, he did. Pretty smart uh, – puck play and, and my, on the defending side of it, I thought he was rock solid. We'll go to questions on Zoom. Peter Baugh, The Athletic. Yeah, Jared, I want to ask a bit about the the new guys you brought in, but first, I, I know you've coached Tyson Joseph for a long time. What are just kind of the emotions seeing him go and um, yeah, just thoughts on that. Yeah, I mean, that was a tough one today because um, me, like everyone else in our locker room and in our organization, have a ton of respect for Josty. Um, great attitude, comes to the rink with a smile on his face every day, works to try and get better, highly committed guy, um, great teammate. And, you know, never once in, in my whole time here with Josty did I ever doubt his care, or his try. I mean, I think that, you know, he's a, he's a perfect teammate when it comes to that. And, is willing to do whatever it takes to try and help the team regardless of role. We've seen his role change over the course of the last three years, especially. Um, digs in and, and learns how to penalty kill, becomes a real good penalty kill for us. And um, so it, it just to me, it, you know, selfless, you know, he'll sacrifice, um, you know, playing in offensive situations to do what we needed him to do as a team and adapt to try and uh, find ways to help our team win. So it was sad seeing him go, especially since he's been here the whole time that I've been here, right? So um, seeing him come in as a young player and learn and grow and kind of develop a, a good all-around game. Um, on the flip side of that, you get a guy like Sturm, which is, you know, a forward version of, um, Josh Manson, you know, so coming out of the playoffs last year, we felt like um, we needed to get a little harder to play against, make it tougher for teams to get to the net on our in our zone, um, especially teams that like to go low to high and just put bodies there time after time. And um, we got two guys, big body guys, 6'3 plus, 210 pounds plus, in Manson and Sturm, where they're defensive-minded guys but can chip in a little bit offensively, and they're hard to play against. They, they both can skate. They both can play physical. They're both big and strong. Um, they can defend against other teams' power forwards, and it's a little bit about um, what we needed as a team. And, and um, you know, we'll see how they fit in. But, like, if Josh's game tonight is any indication, he's going to help us in a big way, and I feel like Sturm's going to do the same thing. Another PK, both PK guys, and um, Stern's been good on the draws, and that's been something that's uh, 
you know, been a little bit of a thorn in our side at times during this year. And um, having a good guy helps to win some of those jobs as well. Eric Dean, Mile High Sports. Sorry, I think you may have answered this earlier. I didn't really hear it, but uh, what was your uh, thoughts on Darcy Kemper's play and, and how he's looked these past few games, not just the shutouts, but the performance in Carolina and just kind of carrying that over? Yeah, I did already answer that. <laughs> but thanks. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, th I think he's been great. I, I, I do. I think he looks big in the net. He's staying upright, looks quick down low, um, real confident positionally sound I, I i think he's playing with a ton of confidence and it's um you know pouring over to the rest of our team terry fry colorado hockey now did you get any report or have you gotten any well have you gotten any report on gabe landis surgery yep surgery went well and i talked to gabe today he's already had a rehab session that went real well feels good about what happened um in the surgery, um, likes the information he got from the doctor. Um, hasn't shared a, a timeline yet. We're waiting for our doctors to catch up with um, the doctor that did the surgery and, and give us a firm timeline um, or a projected timeline on, on when he'll be back. But um, Gabe feels good about it. You know, I know it was something that was bothering him. It was getting worse. He's confident that he'll be back in time for the playoffs, if not sooner. Um, we'll see what happens when uh, when our docs catch up and, and, and see what he's thinking as far as uh, games rehab goes. Last one here, Peter Baugh, The Athletic. Yeah, Jared, I, I just wanted to hear your thoughts on how you feel um, Val Nachushkin has fit in with the top line in the past couple games that you've had him up there. Yeah, I've liked him a lot. I, re I really have. I think. Uh, you know, he provides a lot of similar things that, that what Gabe does for that line. A uh, big, heavy guy that can get in on the four check and turn pucks over, which allows um, Mac and Nico to be able to play a little bit more in the offensive zone. And he showed some skill and, and puck protection ability uh, with that line to help keep those guys playing and, and checking pucks back and and taking on a big defensive role with those guys as they're able to get freed up and play some offense. I really like that line tonight. I thought Mac was outstanding defensively. Uh, so was Miko, and they got dangerous. Like that's a tough team to create offense against. Um, but they 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 spent some time in the offensive zone, made some plays, a beautiful play on uh, Val's goal on the power play as well. So um, I was really happy with the way they played tonight, and 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 I liked them the other night too as well. So. It's another real good option for us. I like Berkey there um, for a handful of games, but, um, you know, we've talked about this, just depending on who they're matching up against, I, I feel like we have some freedom there to move those guys around, and, and even more so if, we're, if we get if and when we get feedback. All right, thank you, Jerry. Thanks. Yep.